Back to our top story now. A member of Mayor Joe Hogsett's own party calling on him to resign. This comes after multiple reports claiming he knew about sexual harassment allegations against his former chief of staff. We go unfiltered tonight with Peter Blanchard, the investigative reporter with Mirror Indy, who helped break this story. Well, Phil, thanks for having me on. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what, what we were expecting, but what I can tell you is that uh, we've been reporting on this story since June uh, when we started talking with some of these women and as well as with some uh, current and former city officials who are aware of what happened. Uh, and really, we just set out to tell these women's stories. You know, to us, this was a story about uh, an abuse of power uh, of a person who used his position of authority in ways that would make these women feel trapped and, and victimized by uh, the behavior of, of Thomas Cook, uh, who, of course, was uh, Mayor Hogsett's chief of staff uh, for many years uh, until he left city government. Let's go into a little bit of uh, detail in regards to the reporting process, Peter, okay? Because, uh, you know, we all know from our end of, of how how much work goes into it. So peel back the onion for our viewers, if you can. Were you surprised as you got more information that all of this was happening inside the mayor's office? Certainly, and you know, maybe for people in and around city government and democratic politics, it seems like uh, at least some of this was known, but uh, it wasn't really known to the general public. And you know, it really takes a long time to, uh, you know, establish trust uh, with with women in these situations. In our case, we're extremely grateful to to Lauren Roberts and Caroline Ellert for being willing to share their story. It's certainly not easy. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, but you know, I just can't emphasize enough the fact that this story uh, doesn't get told without their you know bravery and strength and, and having the courage to come forward. What type of reaction have you gotten from the mayor's office? I know in the piece you said that the mayor declined comment. Yeah, we haven't heard uh, too much from the mayor's office. Uh, uh, they, they did provide a statement. Um, you know, he said he uh, expressed gratitude for the women for coming forward uh, and, and condemned uh, the behavior of Cook. But we know through our reporting uh, that the mayor was made aware of Cook's behavior uh, towards Lauren Roberts back in 2017. Um, and then a, a second uh, relationship came to light in 2020, which led to Cook's resignation. And even after that, Cook was kept on the mayor's 2023 campaign. Why do you think it took so long for this to get out there, Peter? Yeah, you know, we, we've been asked that a few times. And, you know, first and foremost, uh, these women risk their professional careers by coming forward. And Lauren Roberts actually did come forward in 2017, and no one believed her. Uh, it happened to her in, in 2014 and 2015, um, but by 2017, she was at a place where she wanted to let people know about it. And over and over again, uh, her concerns were dismissed. She finally you know, confronted the mayor uh, in, in person, and he acknowledged receiving her emails, but didn't respond to them. And you know, in the case of Caroline Ellert, uh, she stayed silent for a long time because she didn't want to risk losing her job. She talks about how she knew that the only way she could get out of this situation was by completely cutting off contact with Thomas Cook, which of course was impossible if she wanted to keep her job. And so, you know, many of these women, they tried to fix the system from the inside. You know, they approached the mayor, uh, calling for change, pleading with him directly to do something about it. And ultimately, when that didn't get anywhere, they went to the media. And, uh, you know, as you know, Phil, that's no easy thing. And I think it really shows their, their strength and courage through this process. Oh, no doubt about it. Good, 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 good on them. Good for them. How are they doing now? Yeah, we've been in touch with them, and um, you know they're they're doing really good. And uh, actually, I have some news to share. Uh, Caroline Ellert and Lauren Roberts uh, sent a letter to the mayor today and to City County Council President uh, Vop Osley, uh, calling for widespread changes to the city's uh, system for reporting sexual harassment and abuse. Uh, among the things they're calling for, uh, they want the city to uh, investigate what happened 
with Thomas Cook? You know, what did the mayor know? How did this situation perpetuate? Are there more women that we don't know about? And they also want the city to establish an independent third party entity uh, that employees can report to uh, so they feel safe. Uh, under the current system, as we understand it, uh, Human Resources reports up to the chief of staff. And so they want a safe reporting avenue uh, for employees uh, who feel that they are victims of sexual harassment or abuse. And they also want the city to offer free mental health services and support for anyone who's in this sort of situation. And they also want more uh, stringent uh, sexual harassment training and protocols in place. Wow. Courageous indeed. Uh, Peter Blanchard, you know, I, I said at the top of the show, and I, I can't underscore it enough, I mean, fantastic job reporting. At the end of the day, that's, that's why we do this to help with change. Uh, we look forward to maybe speaking with you in the future as this unfolds. And uh, we, we definitely will be reading much more from you. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Phil. I appreciate it.